My name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of animal classification. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 7. Study the flowchart below carefully. Answer the following questions using only the information from the flowchart above. In part A, they ask, which animal group does Y belong to? Whenever we have a flowchart question, it is good to prepare some highlighters or different colored pens. Now, since we need to identify which animal group does Y belong to, the first thing we must do is to identify the characteristics that animal Y has. But in order to see the characteristics clearly, I want you to take a highlighter and I want you to highlight from Y all the way to the starting point of the flowchart. So from this highlighted path, we can see clearly that there are three characteristics that animal Y has. But to identify which animal group does Y belong to, we have to look at which characteristics are unique. What does it mean by unique characteristics? Unique characteristics are simply characteristics that can only be found in that specific animal group. So let's take a look at the first characteristic. We know that Y does not have wings. Is that unique to any animal group? No. In fact, there are many animal groups that do not have wings. So is this characteristic useful? No. So let's move on to the next characteristic. Now we know that Y does not give birth to its young alive. Is that a unique characteristic? The answer is no. There are also so many animal groups that do not give birth to its young alive. So is this characteristic helpful for helping us to determine which animal group Y belongs to? No. So now let's take a look at the last characteristic. We know that animal Y has three body parts. Is this a unique characteristic? Yes. But which is the only animal group that has three body parts? Very good. It is the insect animal group. So the answer for part A is that animal Y belongs to the insect animal group. For part B, they want us to write down one difference between animals X and Z. Similar to part A, the first thing I want you to do is to take out a different colored pen and I want you to start tracing out from X all the way to the starting point of the flowchart. And next, let's do the same for animal Z. So taking a different colored pen, trace out from Z all the way to the starting point. Now, once we have done that, we need to find out what is the difference between both X and Z. Ah, I know what some of you are thinking. You would tell me that animal Z does not have three body parts, while animal X has three body parts. Now, is this a difference? No. If you look at the flowchart carefully, is it true that Z does not have three body parts? Yes, that is true. But from the flowchart, can we tell whether X has three body parts? The answer is no. So we cannot use this characteristic as a difference. Instead, which box should we focus on? Should we focus on the box where the lines are side by side, just like this box? Or should we focus on the box where the lines start to separate from each other, just like the one I have circled out? To find the difference, we should focus on the box where the lines separate from each other. And which characteristic is that? It is whether the animal gives birth to its young alive. 
So when we write down the difference, remember there are certain keywords that examiners are looking out for. When we talk about difference, we need to use keywords such as the word, but, or, are there any other keywords you can think of? Yes, we can also use the word while or even the word unlike because these keywords tell the examiner that you are writing a difference. So how should we phrase our answer for this question? We should say that animal X gives birth to its young alive and remember what keyword must we use? We can use the keyword while animal Z does not give birth to its young alive. And that is the answer for part B. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!